So uh, Mark Van Riemen, uh, an Aussie guy, voted number one futurist in the world on one metric recently. And Mark, over the years, has created about five million words worth of content. Articles, interviews, books, chapters he's written, podcasts, blah, blah, blah. He's created a digital twin of himself called The Digital Speaker. He's done it on 11 labs for The Voice. The Voice sounds exactly like him. He's used Delphi for the, the avatar, all this sort of stuff. He's uploaded it with those five million words. You can subscribe to this service and ask him his digital twin any question you want about technology, the future, that sort of stuff, in 29 different languages. Wow. It will answer back in a way that mirrors 90 to 95% on what you would have got if you'd asked him yeah, directly. I can imagine it would get pretty close. And it's getting better over time. Yeah. So I genuinely think what you're going to have in a world where you could never get 15 minutes. If you work at Commonwealth Bank, you can't get 15 minutes of the CEO's time. You just can't, right? You can get to someone who can get to someone who can get to someone who... But if you ask the virtual CEO a question about strategy or a technology and innovation you want to try and bring into the bank, and the virtual CEO gives you some feedback, and you bounce backwards and forwards with that virtual CEO, so that when it finally gets to the person who decides what the CEO sees, they know it's effectively been through eight drafts with Matt Common. Then when you do get your five minutes with him, he's going to go, yep, cool, trust that, trust that. And it's making his job easier. You're cutting out all that. So there will absolutely be digital twins. You'll have virtual CEOs. You'll have a virtual Obama.